the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video addition of triple digit numbers involving a zero in this video let us demonstrate how triple digit numbers involving zero are handled in abacus let us take the example 308 plus 594 let us set the number 308 on the extreme right side of the abacus that is 3 in the thousands column 0 in the tens column and 8 in the units column whenever there is 0 involved in the number you have to simply skip that column as no beats towards the separation bar means the value is zero let us add the number 594 with 308 for reference the number 594 can be set on the extreme left of the abacus let us start the addition process now as we have to start with the higher digit numbers let us add 5 of the second number with 3 of the first number in the hundreds column where the number 3 is set we have to add 5 there is one bead left in the lower abacus and one in the upper abacus there is no complication here we simply move the bead from the upper abacus towards the separation bar which gives uh, the value 8 at this stage the number you get is 8 in the hundreds column 0 in the tens column and 8 in the units column let us add uh, number 9 of 594 with the zero of 308 it is simple in the tens column you simply move all the beads towards the separation bar and the number you get is 8 9 8 9 8 that is 8 in the hundreds column nine in the tens column and eight in the units column finally you have to add the number 4 with the number 8 of the first number how many beads are left in the units column as the two numbers that are to be added are from the units columns of the respective numbers in the units column only one bead is left therefore you have to add one bead to the tens column this is a tricky situation you notice that all nine beads in the tens column have already been used and there is no bead left in that column in such a situation you have to go to the immediate left and in this case you have to add one bead in the hundreds column what we have done now you have to add four but you have added 100 that means you have to reduce the complement of number 4 with respect to 100 that is you have to reduce 96 that means clear 9 from the tens column and 6 from the units column so what is left on the abacus now 9 in the hundreds column 0 in the tens column and 2 in the units column that means the addition of 308 and 594 becomes uh, 902 you can do that uh, like what we do 
uh, in the normal addition that is 2 8 plus 4 12 you put 2 here and then take 1 to the tens column 1 add it with 9 that is 0 and uh, add that 1 with uh, addition of 5 and 3 so that is 902 in the normal addition we are starting with the units column and going up to the higher uh, digits in the abacus we are starting from the highest digits and moving to the right uh, now we get the answer as 902.